Hello student, in this module 5, we will going to discuss about the analysis and design of column and footing. In this session, we will going to discuss about the analysis and design of short axially loaded RC column, design of columns with uniaxial and biaxial moment. Before discussing about the analysis of design of column, First of all, we should know what is column. Column is a vertical structural member supporting axial compressive load with or without moments. The cross-sectional dimension of a column are generally considerably less than its height. Column support vertical load from the floors and roof and transmit these loads to the foundation. Finally, foundation load transfer to the soil. Next, we are going to discuss about the classification of column. First one, based on shape, as per our requirement, the column can be rectangle, circular, L-type, plus type, square, polygonal, T-type. Second one, based on slenderness ratio or height, short column and long column or short and slender compression member. A compression member may be considered the short when both the slenderness ratio namely LEX by D and LEYB are less than 12 where LEX by D and LEYB is greater than 12 then we call it as a long column. When, when do you call as a short column? The short column usually fail by crushing the long column usually fail by buckling where LEX is the effective length in respect of the major axis, D is the depth in respect of the major axis, LEY is the effective length in respect of the minor axis, B is the width of the member. Next classification based on pattern of lateral reinforcement. First one, tied columns with ties as laterals. Majority of columns in any buildings are tight column. In a tight column, the longitudinal bars are tied together with smaller bars at intervals of the column. Second one, columns with spiral steel as a laterals or spiral columns. When high strength and high ductility are required, the bars are placed in a circle and the ties are replaced by a bar bent into a helix or spiral. Such column called a spiral Next classification based on type of loading. It is very important to know the type of loading on the column. First one, actually loaded column or centrally or concentrically loaded column. B, column subjected to axial load and uniaxial bending moment. Third one, a column subjected to axial load and biaxial bending. In the figure, it clearly shows that the point of application of load exactly at the CG of the column. In the second figure, it clearly shows that the point of application of load not exactly at the CG of, it may be of some distance. In the figure C, it clearly shows the, the point of application of load not exactly at the CG of the column. Next classification based on material. Timber, stone, masonry, RCC, PSC, steel, aluminium, composite, column. Next, we will going to discuss about the specification for covers and reinforcement in column. As per IS 456-2000, table 16, it is clearly mentioned that for a long, for longitudinal reinforcing bar in a column, Nominal cover shall in any case not less than 40 mm or not less than the diameter of such bar. In the case of columns of minimum dimension of 200 mm or under whose reinforcing bar do not exceed 12 mm, a nominal cover of 25 may be used. For footing, a minimum cover shall be 50 mm. As per IS 4.6-2000, a nominal cover to meet specified period of fire resistance for all fire rating of 
0.524 hours is 40 mm per columns only.